after the lessons and this is assessment in assessment i can create several folders i can create for example assignment this is a content folder inside the assessment content area i can create assignment i can create another one For example, I can put exams. Okay. Any question here? okay then we are creating we create a folder for assignment we create folder for exams well, for example we create folder for labs i can create another content folder labs labs exams for example and do we make it available for the student okay now in assignment folder i will create my first assignment okay this is my folder assignment in this folder i will create assignment okay i will give a name of assignment for example i will give it a name this is an assignment environment environment one okay. and i will put instruction for this assignment and i can browse to attach a file for the assignment for example i want to create an assignment What I, okay. What is the size of this file? I need to see. I don't need the, uh, okay. For example, not this one. I will take another. I don't want a big file. Okay. Let's take this assignment, a small one. Okay. And uh, this is the assignment for the student. Okay. You can put a due date for your assignment. Okay. A due date. For example, I want the assignment by uh, the end of this month. On the 31 of March is a due date and you have to appoint the points the grades the points okay we will speak about the rubric later 
I will not add a rubric now. And uh, submission details. We have submission details. If any student are enrolled on more than one group receiving the same assignment, they will be submit more than one attempt for this assignment. It may be necessary to provide this student with an overall grade for the assignment. Then you have to type. You can uh, address this assignment for individual submission or a group submission. I have three groups here. Okay, let it now for uh, individual submission. <clears throat> and you have to uh, fix the number of attempts. Okay, multiple attempts. I will give the student a second chance to resubmit the assignment. And maximum attempt, it will be two. I will allow only two attempts for this assignment. And the scores attempt using uh, last graded attempt or the highest grade or the lowest grade or the first grade or the average for grade attempt. Okay, let's take for the highest grade. Highest grade mm -hmm. attempt. Okay, you have this. Uh, is this a research project? Then you have the possibility to check for plagiarism. Then this is a plagiarism tools offered by Blackboard. Okay, using a special program called Safe Assign. Uh, really officially support only English language. Okay. And uh, you can allow your student to view Safe Assign originality report uh, for their attempt. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, grading options. You can choose to hide student names from submission attempt during grading, making them anonymous. And uh, you can also choose to delegate grading to multiple graders. Each grader provides separate grades, feedback and notes for students. And users with the ability to reconcile grades uh, may review all the grades given to a submission and set an official grade for the attempt. By default, instructors have the reconciling abilities. And uh, then you have these two options, enable anonymous grading. It means that student names are hidden during grading process. And uh, here, enable delegated grading. It means that you will give the grading to another uh, grader, the possibility. For example, a TA, if you have a teaching assistant in your course. And display of grades, mainly the, we will display, uh, display the grade as a score, and you have a secondary display by letter, by text, by percentage, complete or incomplete. These are the other possibilities that you have, can display as a secondary displayed in grade center only, this one. It will not be displayed to your student. <clears throat> include in grade center grading calculation. Yes, I need to include the assignments. Yes and show to student in my grades. 